Jose Street. Peace and blessings from God our Father and from our Savior Jesus Christ. Today is the day we set aside to express thanks for all that is in our lives. Even when things aren't going so well, there is much to be thankful for. The power of thankfulness and gratefulness can get us through the snares of success, prosperity, and ease, as well as the pitfalls of lack, disappointment, and pain. Now recently, I read about a guy who started making a gratitude list a few weeks ago, and he's been adding to it each day. He put some bad things on his list because those bad things led to personal growth that helped him move forward in life. There's a saying, he who has not tasted the bitter cannot appreciate the sweet. Now there is some truth to that. See, difficult times can sometimes be seen as a blessing when viewed through the lens of hindsight. So on today, because we know that God, who raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, will also raise us with Jesus and present us to himself, we can take a few moments to think about our lives and be thankful for his amazing gift to us. If we make a gratitude list, like the guy I was just speaking of, we might be surprised by the length of our list. Everything God has done by adding us to his family, by sending Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God to us was for what? Our benefit. And since Christ purchased our lives for God, our determination is to share his truth because we have the same kind of faith. The psalmist had when he said, I believed in God, so I spoke. So speak today, tomorrow, and every day about the hope we share. We've been chosen to function with others in the church. So as God's grace reaches more and more people through us, there will be greater thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. Let's take on this task together, State Street, shall we? Saints, no matter what, we need never to give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs any trouble we will ever face on this earth and his glory in us will last forever. So don't focus on the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the troubles we are experiencing now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. So today, let's be thankful because we are blessed. This is Pastor Warren with your Thanksgiving message today. May God bless you and may he keep you.